AFL Hot Wheels collectors. It seems to be a case of most car boot sales I go to now are just too expensive. I mean, some of the stuff I got, I paid at least way over what I was expecting. Some good carded stuff though. Oh, and one little extra from local charity shop. Anyway, actually I'm going to start with the uh, charity shop. It's the Matchbox Super Kings uh, security truck. This is a big thing. Group 4 Securitas Security Service. Slight bit of damage on the back there. So here's the unique thing. It actually has a locking code on the back. That's how cool this is. It does actually have something inside this rattling. Unfortunately, there, is a, there was a little ramp that broke off because I was trying to get this to work. And it sort of broke off when I got it to open. Anyway, underneath, as you can see, there are the codes. That's the code you put in to open the door. So if I can remember, it should be one. Well, it does actually say, so, uh, so it should be three, one, one. Yeah, it opens up. And as you can see, nice little door. Just ignore any noises that go on in the background. But there we go. Beautiful. That was a pretty cool find. I think I only paid like about 50p for that. Impressive. Anyway, next up we have an even bigger one from the car boot sale. We have a Majoretti Chevrolet Impala. And this is a big Majoretti. 50p I paid for this one. Doors open beautifully and close. It's got a little remains of an area on the top. Other than that, though, it's pretty nice. And it is meant to have the chips in the wheels. All four of these have that. Don't know what for. Rolls nice. Base is quite nice, just to prove it is a majority. There you go. Next one is another majority. It says underneath an Atalane, but I think it's actually a Citroen Diane van. I'm not, not sure on this. Cool feature is it has opening doors at the back, which are both intact, which really surprised me. I was expecting these to be broken off. They do open. It's a bit tricky, though. Oh, well, they do open. Ah. Oh, well, just have to leave that for now. And what time to fiddle around? Another Majoretti, this Audi Quattro. For Majoretti, pretty cool thing is that I like the Matchbox one. It actually looks like it's built for off-roading because of these big fat tires. Doors open, which is pretty cool. Uh, next thing, this Matchbox, which is a FJ Holden panel van. Quite a creepy one, this one, because it's got some cool features on the side. That's why I had to grab it because of that. Pretty cool thing on top as well. You get that as well, which is fairly cool. After that, we then have this very cool and unique uh, Nova car. Now, you may remember the other one. Well, here it is again. Well, here is the other one. This is a number 23 Corvette, you can probably tell. I think it's a later one, though, because it has square back uh, lights. Usually they're circular. So perhaps maybe a 90s one rather than an 80s one. Still cool though. Next up, a load of Hot Wheels. We have this cool, uh, I think, eye candy. This thing's called. Very cool green colours. Just kind of liked it because it was sort of like kooky and strange. But again, very nice. A very cool, I think this one's. Um, beach buggy or something, I can't remember, it's surf pickup or something like that. Again, one without a name on, but I've got a few of these castings. It's got a cool surf and rescue on the side. The great thing about this is it still has the uh, scuba diving kit in the back there. Sadly though, that was final run, which was a shame. Still nice though. Next we have this cool uh, Toyota RSC. K9 Police. The wheels are slightly bent at the back. I've tried to fix them, but can't really do much better than that. Overall, nice little find. Next we have a Ferrari 308. Not sure if this is a colour changer or whether it's just something cool, but I'm not 100%. It's got a tan interior. Rather than me talking about it, let's actually show it. That does help. 
Anyway, it's got a raised uh, Malaysia base by the looks of it. Looks like I said Malaysia, I can't really tell. Bit, uh, bit of a corrosion on the bottom end there. Again, it's nice though. One that I thought I might already have, but I don't. I know this is in one of the other sets, but not sure. Now, you remember the last Red Baron that I found? Well, I found another one. I had to buy this purely because, well, you don't see them at all. Very cool find indeed. Now then, there was a guy selling like a box where I got that Ferrari from. Uh, he wanted 10 quid for the whole box. I didn't really bring that much money, so I only brought the carded stuff he had. First up, we have this fast wheeling sports racers F1 type car, Hong Kong based. I have absolutely no idea on the brand name, uh, what uh, what company made these, but either way, it is it has writing on the back. But unfortunately, because it has a massive scash in it or something, obviously something's been dropped on it or it's been sort of like pushed around too much. But here's the other one. It's the exact same but in yellow and in mu on a much better card as well. Well, it's not crumpled. It's the exact same one in yellow. And on the back it has a few of the other models. Again, this is really going to appeal to sort of like those kids of possibly the 60s, 70s. As I have absolutely no idea what these are or where they've come from. I'm thinking probably Poundland cheapy jobs. They certainly look like they're based on the old Corgi models, or the Corgi ones you see in Poundlands nowadays. So like those little short carded versions. Speaking of Corgi, we have Corgi Wild West. You had two of these and this was the best carded one. This one as you can see, it's very nice indeed. Pretty. Again, still carded. And on the back, not really much on the back, just sort of like all the usual gibberish of health and safety and do not give this to a under three year old love the corgi logo it is in colour on there I think this is a 70s model I'm not 100% on that, oh no 1981 so it just goes to show that's 81 or possibly 1980 not entirely sure next up we have a 1978 corgi Unfortunately, with a number 30 written on it, I don't know why. But this is the dumper truck, I think that's what it's called. Uh, it doesn't actually say, it's actually number 85, uh, which is on here but doesn't give it the name, which is rather a shame. Does it say on the base? No, just made in Great Britain and Corgi Juniors. Wonderful. Uh, well, there it is. Still on its card. Package is crumpled, as you can see. But again, eight quid for all of this little lot, not too bad. On the back we have some uh, possible uh, up and coming models that have been used by Corgi Juniors. There's the cement mixer, which of course most people have seen. There's the tractor, Starsky and Hutch one right in the middle there. There's the dumper, the what looks like Ford, tra I think it's a Ford Transit, sort of uh, milk float or something, but the most famous one is in that corner there, the Batmobile. Now we've just had a load of, uh, we've just had Nova car. Well, this is what a carded Nova card looks like. It's very flat. It's very cheap. I would presume that this possibly would have had something on it. Anyway, it doesn't actually have a year of manufacture. Uh, is there an English on here? Not suitable for children under 36 months due to small parts that might be inhaled. Retain packaging for reference. Uh, it doesn't have a year on this whatsoever. Metal, metal and plastic. So it's a metal body, plastic top. It's got top drivers on it. This is literally sort of like, well, I think this is sort of like 50p or cents sort of like cheapy quality. Still, it was very nice though. The other thing as well is the fact that a lot of the other places I went to didn't really have that much toy car wise. It was like all these like real toys and stuff like that which not really for me. 
But there was one guy I found on his trailer because he had unloaded a lot of it. Looked like he had basically unloaded some, and then if there was a space, he'd put something out there. But I managed to find two matchbox convoys. Unfortunately, he wanted eight quid for both. And unfortunately, I didn't have eight quid. And like I say, places are becoming more expensive. And he had the, he had the cheek to accuse me of being a reseller. Someone who sort of like knew the price on eBay. I don't do that. I don't even know how much how much my stuff's worth. Hell, I could probably have a really rare one that's worth a lot of money. I mean, like the Super King. That's probably worth a few bob. But anyway, the one I went for was this Matchbox Convoy Classic Matchbox logo. It is very big, but it's still in the packaging, which is really nice. Uh, the other one I think was an oil tanker for Q8 that you can see. It's got the Hot Wheel. It's got the Matchbox logo. Now, um, Hot Wheels have the logo faster than ever. Well, Matchbox came up with get in the fast lane. And you really do. A shame, really. They should bring that back, get in the fast lane. But they're not producing much stuff. It does have an original price tag. Something 99p, by the looks of it, or 90 or 97p. Again, no idea on what the price tag was, because it's been peeled off. And like I say, four quid that acquired. And that is the... Uh, it's probably one of the best ones I have ever found in the box. The other uh, people that were selling toy cars there had a whole load of like carded Hot Wheels stuff. Mostly HK stuff, looked like it brought a bulk load. But anyway, that is it. Just checking to make sure. Yep, that does seem to be it. Okay, thank you for watching very much. See you next time.